Hey everyone, it's Linda, and I just kind of finished eating lunch. Yes, I went to Subway. Unsweetened tea, I don't drink soda. I have a little haul for you. Ooh, I don't know why that's doing that. Okay, so today, first off, I switched up my part, I made it kind of different with my hair and I don't know if I like it I'm still like oh my gosh I can't believe I'm not pushing my hair this way <laughs> push my hair back this way no so anyway <laughs> well hi puppy dog oh do you want to come see me okay so this is Walker he's a baby he's a baby boy and he just wants my lunch he doesn't want anything else you are not getting my food no, you're not. No, you're not. I have things to do. Can you get down off my lap for a bit? Come on, get down. Get down, puppy. Okay. I'm going to start with the Target items. And then I'll move on to the Dollar Tree items. I got these. Paper straws because they're black and white. I have a lot of scrapbooking papers that are black and white. That I'm going to make rosettes out of and do something fancy with it. And I also found this black jute twine. Those are just a dollar. And I found these sticky notepads with these paper flags. This is noted. Because I have been using my planner. And yeah, I'm trying to really make sure I utilize my planner more and more. Because there's just so much going on with meetings at work and work times and trying to keep track of everybody else's schedule <sighs> and doctor's visits and all that jazz I needed a planner and then I found this stationery set it says garden notes on it. it has a pin and everything I'm thinking about buying stuff like this and giving them out as gifts to the stylist at work you know as appreciation gift I because I do appreciate my stylist at work they do a fantastic job and it's just nice to be appreciated some days <laughs> and then I found this dollar stamp and it is bunny whoops bunny tracks super cute because I'm trying to build up my stamps but I'm a cheapo I'm not going to spend like $10 on stamps. I just can't see myself doing that when I don't use them that often. Anyway, I got this metallic ribbon, pink and gold. And then I found this metallic rick rack. It says, and it's just gold. And that's pretty much all I got for Target today. Now to the Dollar Tree. Let me grab that. Okay. whoop de doo Okay. First off, I was watching another video and I'm trying to think of who posted it. I could probably check real quick. But she used cupcake liners on the back of rosettes with the paper straws and made it super cute. And I'm going to put my own spin on it and see what I can come up with. And so I got these from the Dollar Tree. They didn't have many pastel colors and that's the sad thing because I picked up these paper straws from Walmart and as you can see these are pastel now with these colors here these colors aren't pastel on the cupcake liners and none of their cupcake liners had pastel colors so I may end up going back to Walmart and getting some uh, pastel colors to match more of these Easter type paper straws which as you can see these were actually from Walmart only 98 cents but anyway that's not what I was wanting to show you. Anyway, this is from Dollar Tree. And as I said, it's pretty colors, but most of them weren't very pastel. So we'll see. And then I did get a, oh, this was from, I'm sorry, this was from Target and got put in this bag. Another thing of paper straws. See, it's purple and pastel. Oh well. <laughs> and then I got some screen cleaning wipes. I need them every time at work you know I always hair color anything it's always getting 
on my phone. I needed those. I got a couple of washi tapes because they finally had some. And two of these are repeats that I had, which one's of that, because I really like that, just the print. And this one had the oh, silver, gray and yellow. <laughs> gray and yellow. And this one I didn't have, and my daughter loves owls, and I finally found it. Cute little owls, and I'm sorry for the glare. And then the last two things that I got, I thought these would be cute for my project that I'm going to start working on. That's just an Easter one. And then I saw this sequin ribbon, and it is blue and sparkly and, you know, has looks like it's green when you turn it. So that's pretty much all that I got. Nice short haul. I actually, before I went shopping yesterday, I had this huge long video and I was very emotional in it. It's been a very weird week for me. I was so stressed out yesterday because my boss was coming in today. And, um, you know, I was all worried for nothing. I actually, you know, she praised me and even gave me a, a like a $90 flat iron as a gift because, you know, we rocked out February with our totals and everything. So that was nice. I'm a little bit less stressed out today. I decided not to post that video because I don't know if I'm ready to show quite an emotional side of me yet to the world. Um, you know, because it, it, I don't want anybody to think that I'm overly vulnerable because I'm not. I actually have been through a lot and it takes a whole lot for me to get as upset as I was yesterday and stress at work, everything going on. Um, with my iron deficient anemia, I've been having a lot of dizzy spells with my iron and uh, hemoglobin, bottom out, whatever you want to say. So, that being said, uh, I'm hoping it gets better. I'm probably going to end up going to the doctor again and having them recheck because the totals from last time were 10.6, which means they went up a few points, but my body doesn't feel like it. And I know the difference. So yeah, <laughs> that's it. That's the only thing that's going on other than that. I've been doing okay. Still looking for a place to move to. Still having problems with the landlord here. Um, I don't see how anybody can rent out a house and expect you to do the repairs on a place that you're renting and you're not even buying. And that's where we're kind of stuck at. Um, the landlord here, uh, he's not repaired anything in three years. Um, so yeah, I am, I've gotten a hold of him over an issue and I'm not even going to go into that, but he still has not re uh, repaired it. It's been over a month now. We do have a slumlord law here in Indiana that I can turn him in on, but once you do that, you almost have to have another place to live because you will get evicted from that point on. Um, there is like that no repercussion bullshit, but you know, they're going to come up with some other reason to have you kicked out or whatever once you take them to court over being a slumlord or they get fined for it. So, um, yeah, I'm looking for another place to live. And, you know, when you're on a budget, it's, it's super hard. And, my, you know, I am paying quite a bit in rent here. I'm not even going to say how much. It's too much. Three bedrooms, two baths, living room, dining room, uh, double lot. It's too much to take care of. I work, you know, almost 50 hours a week. I'm done with all of this and having to take care of all of it. I'm downsizing. But anyway, I hope to have that taken care of soon. In the next couple months, hopefully something will come up and, you know, help out. Uh, so we'll see about that. Anyway, this video is about 
running over 10 minutes long. I just wanted to give an update as well as do the haul and thank everybody for subscribing and you know keeping up with me. I appreciate it. I really do. Thank you so much for liking my videos and subscribing and please feel free to comment. I'm always here, you know. Uh, I do answer comments. And once again, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And I will see you all in the next video. But before I leave, one thing you know I'm very passionate about is my animals. So please don't shop. Go adopt. There are animals out there that need your love and care and need a home. So, yeah. Don't go shopping for an animal. There's plenty of wonderfully fantastic animals at the shelter. Visit your local shelter and, you know, give a home to a pet that needs your love. And, uh, yeah, have a great day. Bye.